Mahadia Dalal, 34, arrived in the Philippines with her two young children in November 2023 to escape the war in Gaza. Born to a Palestinian father and Filipina mother, she was an English teacher back home, but now she does not know how to sustain the family. It is the same problem for the families here in Little Gaza, a building that houses 16 Palestinian families composed of 69 people in Quezon City. The problem is more difficult for the pure Palestinians who are only given tourist visas while their application for asylum is pending. This means they could not work. Many of their tourist visas also expired and they have to shell out money, almost $100,000 to renew it. It actually puts a lot of pressure on us. Uh, we, we Filipinas here, you know, the, the dual citizens like me and some of the nanas, we work in the bazaars. However, our husbands, they can't work. Or even the females here who have, uh, the, fem the female Palestinian spouses who have uh, the Palestinian passports, you know, are pure Palestinian, they can't work because they don't have working visa. The refugees are asking the Philippine government for a legal status so they can work. The Filipino mothers and their Filipino-Palestinian children, like Mahadia, work in their small business called Little Gaza Kitchen, which sells food online and in bazaars. But even this is not enough. It's not enough. It's really, actually, it's not, you know, it's, it's already almost enough for, you know, daily expenses. And without the help of the more Palestinians group here who are actually paying for the rent and, you know, paying for some of the bills, we would be helpless because that amount that we get from the bazaars and from selling uh, won't cover anything. Ang online selling namin ay hindi naman permanente, tsaka hindi araw-araw, hindi stable. Pagka may mga needs kami na nahiya kami magsabi sa kanila, hindi namin masabi. Yun, yun ang problema. Kasi eh, ang mga anak ko, yung mga dalaga, every time, every now and then may mga needs sila na hindi ko maibigay. Yun ang problema ko talaga na napakahirap. The financial burden has already affected the morale of the people. Many of the refugees are professionals back home in Gaza, professors, engineers, and accountants, among others. Mahadia says her husband suffers from depression owing to the effects of the war and their current living situation. I've been a teacher for 12 years and for me to not have a, a job or a source of income it's actually very depressing and stressful at the same time. My husband too, you know, it's more pressure on the, the, the provider of the family, uh, meaning the husband or the male of the family because he loses his sense of existence you know when he doesn't provide for the family it puts a lot of pressure on his soul on his mind uh, he's very very depressed right now i mean he doesn't get out for, from the house he doesn't mingle with people he doesn't have a reason to smile anymore the refugee said without the help of a small group of muslim filipinos they would not be able to survive Currently, the group raises funds for the monthly rent amounting to $4,300 and utility bills. The group is also finding it difficult to sustain this. This month, they have three months' worth of unpaid electric bills amounting to $2,500. In August, the children will start attending school. The volunteers hold bazaars and fundraising activities, but these are not enough. They know that the long-term solution is providing jobs to the refugees. Until then, they are firm in their support of these Palestinians. Sa grupo namin, wala kaming iwanan. Hopes na tulungan rin kami ng tagataas na mapagaan yung mga burden na trabaho namin para sa kanila. Kasi minsan, meron po yung nasumusuko na kami. Pero naisip namin, uh, hindi na nga tayo nakatulong sa Gaza. Nandito sila pa rin natin tulungan. So tuloy na lang natin. For those who want to help the Palestinian refugees in the Philippines, you may message The Little Gaza Kitchen at Don Antonio Quezon City on Facebook and Instagram. Camila Lamia, Cita Day, Philippines.